Now let me discuss about another anti-leprotic drug that is clofazamine. Remember clofazamine it is one of the dye and this particular dye it has the leprostatic and as well as the anti-inflammatory activity. So it is a dye with right it is a dye with leprostatic and as well as anti-inflammatory right and as well as the anti-inflammatory activity right so that is about your clofazamine now what is the mechanism of action of this clofazamine clofazamine it interferes with the template function of the dna right it interferes with the template function of the dna now the other point is the adverse effects if you take the adverse effects associated with this clofazamine this clofazamine can cause gastrointestinal irritation right it can cause gastrointestinal irritation it will cause the ichthyosis of the skin what do you mean by the word ichthyosis the word ichthyosis it stands for dryness and as well as the scaling of the skin right so it will cause ichthyosis of the skin and apart from this ichthyosis this clofazamine will also cause the discoloration of the skin and as well as discoloration of the secretions right so discoloration of skin and as well as the secretions all right next now the other point is due to anti-inflammatory activity right this clofazamine is also having the anti-inflammatory activity so due to its anti-inflammatory action remember it can be used even for lepra reaction as well right so due to right due to anti-inflammatory action right it can be used in the treatment of lepra reaction right it can be used in the treatment of lepra reaction so lepra reaction is also one of the hypersensitivity reaction whenever we are treating the patients with the leprosy right so this mycobacterial lepra agents they will have the hypersensitivity reactions so this anti-leprotic drugs they will kill the mycobacterium lepra agents and these segments or the mycobacterial lepra dead material will initiate the hypersensitivity reaction and they are called as the lepra reaction we have two types of lepra reaction that is type 1 and as well as type 2 lepra reaction so basically it's an inflammatory action or inflammatory reaction so to this particular lepra reaction the clofazamine can be given because it is having the anti-inflammatory activity next now the other anti-leprotic drug is your rifampicin right the other anti-leprotic drug is the rifampicin remember rifampicin it is the bactericidal agent right so remember a point it is the bactericidal agent and it is most effective drug used in the treatment of leprosy okay so it is the most effective drug used in the treatment of leprosy now what is the advantage of this particular rifampicin is this rifampicin it prevents the development of resistance to the dapsone right it prevents the development of resistance to the dapsone next now apart from rifampicin remember we have certain other drugs as well
right we have certain other drugs as well the other drugs they include ethionamide right the other drugs they include ethionamide so ethionamide it has the anti leprotic activity right ethionamide it has the anti leprotic activity but the point is this ethionamide it can cause hepatotoxicity in 10% of patients right it can cause hepatotoxicity in 10% of patients next the other anti leprotic drugs if you take the other drugs include like ofloxacin pfloxacin and as well as parfloxacin these are the quinolones which are effective drugs for the leprosy so ofloxacin parfloxacin and as well as the pfloxacin so these are the quinolones which are effective drugs for the leprosy but you take one of the quinolone that is ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin is not active against the mycobacterium leprae right ciprofloxacin is not active against mycobacterium leprae right it is not active against mycobacterium leprae next the other point is that like you take minocycline and as well as clarithromycin minocycline and clarithromycin can also be used in the leprosy right minocycline and clarithromycin they are also used in the treatment of leprosy right they are also used in the treatment of the leprosy right so if you shortly revise coming to your clofazimine remember this clofazimine it is a dye with leprostatic and anti inflammatory activity and it interferes with the template function of the dna the adverse effect is that it can cause the gastrointestinal irritation ichthyosis of the skin and discoloration of the skin and as well as the secretions next due to its anti inflammatory action it can be used in the treatment of the lepra reaction and if you take rifampicin it is a bactericidal agent and it is the most effective drug used in the treatment of leprosy and it prevents the development of resistance to the dapsone and the other drugs which are used is the ethionamide ethionamide has the anti leprotic activity but causes hepatotoxicity in 10% of patients and you take the drugs like ofloxacin pfloxacin and parfloxacin they are effective drugs for leprosy but ciprofloxacin is not active against the mycobacterium lepra and you take minocycline and as well as clarithromycin they can also be used in the treatment of the leprosy